President Joe Biden is on the road to recovery. Biden's physician, Dr. Kevin C. O'Connor, assured that his symptoms continue to improve as he shared an update on the Commander-in-Chief's health after Biden, 79, tested positive for COVID-19 earlier this week. The president continues to tolerate treatment well, Dr. O'Connor wrote in a memo Saturday to White House Press Secretary Karina Jean-Pierre. Dr. O'Connor said that Biden was likely infected with the B8.5 variant, according to preliminary sequencing results, which will not affect his treatment plan. The variant is currently responsible for 75 to 80 percent of COVID infections in the United States. Biden's primary symptoms are less troublesome and include sore throat, runny nose, loose cough and body aches. Additionally, he is experiencing no shortness of breath. His voice remains deep. His pulse, blood pressure, respiratory rate and temperature remain entirely normal, Dr. O'Connor added. His oxygen saturation continues to be excellent on room air. His lungs remain clear. After completing his second full day of Paxlovid treatment, Biden will continue on the antiviral drug, in addition to hydrating, taking Tylenol and using an albuterol inhaler as needed for cough two to three times a day. While isolating, he will also continue to take a low dose of aspirin as an alternative blood thinner. The president is responding to therapy as expected, Dr. O'Connor wrote, adding, We will continue to monitor him closely, during this very common outpatient treatment regimen. President Biden tested positive for COVID-19 on Thursday and was experiencing very mild symptoms. He was previously fully vaccinated and received two booster shots. I talked to him just a few minutes ago, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden said shortly after her husband's diagnosis. He's doing fine. He's doing good. The president has kept up with his busy schedule while isolating, as the White House shared a photo of him Friday, masked while speaking to his national security team on the phone. As information about the coronavirus pandemic rapidly changes, People is committed to providing the most recent data in our coverage. Some of the information in this story may have changed after publication. For the latest on COVID-19, readers are encouraged to use online resources from the CDC, WHO and local public health departments.